Let's go now to my colleague Griselda Lewis, who's standing by with your special discussion from a correctional centre in Limpopo. Griselda, good evening. Tonight, uh, well, just uh, over a week now to the end of Women's Month, we bring you this uh, special broadcast uh, tonight from prison. We're live at uh, the Pulukwane Correctional Centre, and tonight we'll be speaking to six brave women, women who have agreed to come and tell their story to us. And those women are women who have been convicted of, amongst other things, very serious crimes, murder, kidnapping, murder, kidnapping, as well as uh, kidnapping. We've got one of the others as well, fraud, amongst others. So tonight they've agreed to speak to us. And those women, there was a time when they had many dreams, but of course, all of that, they have told me, there was a day when all of that had changed for them. It's now a life in prison for them. Tonight they tell us their story. Let's start here with you, Teddy. Teddy Badi Teddy, you were 29 years old in 2015 when you were convicted for murder. Tell us your story. Uh, my child, she was from school. So when she came back, I didn't know what happened in that time. They called me from school, and then when I went to school, so September. Uh, so they called me, and when I went there, I was so angry. Yeah. So I got So we went somewhere. We thought knowing that the things that we are doing is wrong. So after a week, Banswara for murder. Matumu ne basa yuzure kina na mara ne kile suspect because no na le moto amponi kira julute. E Banswara matumu ne kihana kisa nyaku dume lorontwe kirele because ne kizuili. So after two weeks, ke bato kera vuta zubo vuturi kina girling dilute baraswara baras norutswara harizule after seven days kabeil kabaki luko nteli bana holy shop mara kera lehe ke bola koto hei tumpo na mulato kimo ke bolo ngoro. I write. It was not right. If Nikitzer Mulao, Kaufama Pudisa, Kasai Zimula Oleka, Kawia Munna, and Kebekisimo killing Kotain. But even though Legitilemo, Kikrela Chansa or Kikonikar or Kinamang, a mobile pilung, Kinyaka ini, because Kontle, Arnanago, Repilari, Libelet Hore. Wupilo wosenti chale te manati ingi but holy kamo ukonoti kera hore ya kimeman kusenti wupilo baka kibupile kaka katila erait tronko ai shabu ishab hewa na unyaka hore utuse ito utusa because mo hore taka ni rubat babanj from different family and then different culture. Holy Kamu, who are going to ruin our we put our own gang. Yeah. Only a good change, but we change. But also any good change, we can change. But we put our na kau kitle kamu. Again, we stand up like a kitle nang kamu. Kisa itur kitle zin kamu. Otlo kira hore. Bom mevar na limbona kamu. 
ba bana le nako ya hao ya go botsa re TD ka gore o ka mo please man o tla ko ntle o sanya ko tswa ka mo o o le ya ko ntle o le thilo lo re aba mmitse ya e lo re o tshentshi itse man o ba motswadi o mo right ke ke re ile he ke se tsha fo bo pilo beside me the e ke rileng mo lifeing in ne ke phila ke re ile he ke le ka mo ke khone se tsho re a e ne ke se mo thom right na ina le dilotse dintshi tsene ke di shota ke sa khone di fitlhella but just because ke phile nako ka khone utlwella mo thomong wa ha bolela ke ke re ile thuso ka mo drunkong uh, Tidi Badi uh, uh, telling us there, for some of you who may not understand, uh, of course, in 2015, she was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for murder. And uh, what led to that, uh, she says, is, uh, of course, uh, her daughter had been sexually assaulted. And uh, after some time, uh, the uh, perpetrator was uh, pointed out by her daughter, uh, according to our understanding. And... Um, what then subsequently happened is that uh, uh, Tidibadi admits that uh, she, uh, together with the father of the child, then um, found the perpetrator and uh, took him to a nearby bush. And that's where they used a hammer uh, to kill him. She says uh, that um, it has been a life-changing experience for her to be in here, she says, after several court appearances, she realized that what she did was wrong. She says that uh, at the moment, at the time when she was committing that murder, she didn't understand what she was doing. She was overcome by emotions at the time. But she's also encouraging, saying this is, this is an opportunity for her inside this correctional facility to get the kind of assistance and the change that she needs in her life. We'll come back uh, to Tidibadi very shortly. Let's speak uh, to the other ladies as well. Manogo Majila, you were at the prime of your teenage years. You're 18 years old now. That's correct. You were at the prime of your teenage years. You were sentenced uh, for kidnapping. That's correct. In April this year. Yes. Tell us your story. Okay, thank you for having me. Uh, the previous year, in September, I fell pregnant, and uh, after two months, I had miscarriage. So I was afraid to tell my boyfriend that I had miscarriage because I was afraid that he would break up with me. So this year, uh, on the 28th of March, Nikili go through Kumkupan. Yes. Then I met the lady. I think maybe in Ali Buma less than two months old. So ang ofara horengi aus kupa unku kilengwana. She gave the baby to you. Yes. So nikina le obsession ela horengi kibe lungo no la elungo ring kuaga. So kaguga ngwana ola. So we went shopping together with that lady. So hinti na go e ya ona mola kata ma elungo no ola. Asanga kavalum na hano loring into gidrang irong. Then uh, on the 11th of April, on Friday, I got arrested. Then on the 23rd, I got sentenced. Mm. Yes, that is what happened. So you saying that um, you had uh, fallen pregnant? Just to summarize what Manoko is saying, she had fallen pregnant and uh, had a miscarriage, and she was too afraid to tell her boyfriend. Uh, that she'd had a miscarriage, and uh, one day when she'd went to town in Mokopane, uh, that is where um, she met a lady who had asked her to carry her baby for her, and they went shopping together. And uh, she says, uh, without thinking, she then took the baby and left uh, with the baby. At what was going through your mind at the time, uh, at Manoko, as you took someone else's baby and left? Is the time ke ku kile ngwana la ke bile le that mind wa gore nge hanga be ile ngwana aka then i just left with the baby yes we'll come back to you manoko and let's move over to bongani now bongani matebula 37 years old and 
you were convicted in 2012 for drug trafficking. I understand uh, if I look here that uh, you were convicted, you were coming from Brazil. Yes. And a search was conducted at Oar Tambo International Airport and that's where your life changed. Yes, that's where my life changed. Tell us what happened, uh, Mongani. From the start, uh, I was working at the airport as a ticket size and agency. After I've been working there, I met some of the Nigerians because I was selling tickets for them. And then they promised me a lot of money because I was also struggling through financially. I decided to join them because the, the luggage that they, they gave me, it was so much, and I did enjoy that money for that moment. After that, I was so hooked to drugs, where I travel all over the countries to go and tra deliver drugs taking them from out the country, bringing them to South Africa. After that, when I, after that, when I went in and out in the countries, I get arrested in Oartambo in 2012, in 2011. When I get arrested, I was 20, 29. And then I went for trial until they sentenced me mm -hmm. for 14 years. Yeah. After when they sentenced me for 14 years, I've been in prison for, since from those time until now. Hmm. So I, since the time that I was in prison, I found my life changed. There was a lot of things that were happening around my life, around my children. Hmm. I couldn't cope. My children was also victimized through my incarceration. Hmm. So I have to change my life through that. So I decided to change each and everything that was with my life through friends yeah. and all and everybody from my families. I have to cut them off because there were day and the moment when I was saving money, but by the time when I'm locked in, they run away from me. They don't know me anymore. Yeah. So I decided to change and I changed my life through the officials that are helping us inside. They have led us into another changing line. Yeah. As the psychologist and the social worker, they're the one who also help us to get some of the skills because by that time I was having a lot of anger because yeah. I, I told myself that I need to have something that is mine. Yeah. I want to live a, a glamorous life where yeah. I will be the person that everybody will look at each and every time. Mm. But I f funny enough, that's where I end up in prison. So yeah. I don't think I will do that thing again because I cannot feed my own baby with drugs, but I cannot do it. So it was bad for me to do to the other kids. Yeah. We'll come back to you, Priska. Um, you were convicted for murder earlier this year a house break-in that went wrong. Uh, tell us your story. Um, it was Saturday midnight on the 5th December 2016. My younger brother had the footstep inside the house. He woke up and checked around. He went outside. He saw that the garage door was opened. And then he checked and called us, sister, sister, is that you? And then he didn't get the response. On his way back from outside coming inside the house, he saw the guy inside the house. Mm -hmm. And then that guy ran to the bathroom. And then my younger brother ran to that bathroom and they, they started fighting until that guy managed to get inside the other room that my kids were sleeping inside. Mm. Then my, my younger brother called my dad, just shouted, Daddy, Daddy, there's someone in the house. And then my dad woke up and he, he went outside shouting for help. Yeah. Yes. And then my younger brother and that, that person they were fighting inside the house mm -hmm. and then 
that person managed to to went outside over the roof because by that time my father's house didn't have a ceiling. Yeah. So he went outside and then my dad was busy shouting for help outside. And then when he went outside, the community were, were, were there. And then when he tried to fall down, he broke his leg. And then people started beating him to death. Mm. Yes. So after two months, it was December, the 5th of December. And then after two months, on the 25th of April 2017, uh, the CIDs came at the middle of the night and then they arrested us, me, my dad, and my younger brother, and my big brother. So we went out on bail. So we went out on bail that particular day. Mm -hmm. And then we were, trial, we were going on trial. Yeah going to court cases until um, this year on March, 20 March, they detained us and then they said they find us guilty of murdering that particular person. And then we went, we stayed in trial for three months mm. and then they sentenced us on 11th of June. So you were sentenced to five years imprisonment and it's yeah. not just you. It's your brother, your elder brother, your younger brother, and nice. your father as well. Yes. Priska, we're going to come back to you and talk about the impact of that on your family. Let's join now Sengiwe Zamini, who was um, convicted for fraud also earlier this year. You're 38 years old, Sengiwe. Thank you very much for agreeing to speak to us. How did you end up here? Oh, okay, I uh, was staying in Pretoria, working at Vets Health as a team leader. I was in a relationship with a Nigerian guy. In my situation, it was a little bit tricky because I was in a relationship with this Nigerian for uh, about a year. Mm. So um, I was so in love with the guy. He was taking care of me financially. I had trust with the guy. And in... So it was uh, around 2016, toward the end of 2016, he came to me and asked me to open a business account for him. Yeah. And of course he was doing some kind of business where he was selling cars. So in my situation, I trusted him, I believed him. I was so ignorant. I helped him, I opened the business account yeah. with the hope that he was doing some business, which I knew, whereas he just wanted this business business account for doing fraud. Mm. I opened the business account on my details. Since he's a Nigerian, he could, I, I understood that he did not have the relevant document. Yeah. So I opened the, the, docu, uh, the account with all my information and everything, and I gave everything to him. Mm. He went and hacked an account at Mkopane with his friend, and they stole about 1.6 million, and part of the money was transferred into my account. I was in Pretoria, I was working. Then immediately when investigation got uh, started, I was the first person to be arrested. Mm. That's how my Welsh got shattered. That was 2017, mm. I got arrested. Right, uh, we, we're gonna need to take a short a, a break very shortly. Let me come to you and Tabi Singh Mabutla, convicted uh, for robbery. Um, your story, you're 22 years old, uh, Ntabi Singh, and you were sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Tell us your story. Okay. Go play the twenty fourteen. The Kratan and the Mishmanu la ya pitora are no ilu bereka. Kana ko ne bekitse na school. So school se ne kitse na ne silo hole la gai. So kitse ma distance ne kamu bekile mutswe chikinya inchama no mina. So kirele kitse na school se la sabu. Kikirele lore. Eh ba na ba ba kamu tla sahuna ba 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 kirean dula chau dula. So next level, like to a whole whole life, like good class, and carry lor, like carry to look in the air. Because we should school, like that, like boyfriend, like a tutor. 
so kile ka wa hai mama pusharo ai wile skolo ka mhlalosi ke ka ribile nang ka sgone boela skolo e so ka phone ra boyfriend te ka ka ri ke to tshe skolo ke nyokotla pitori o ke ya mpusharo wa ke to tshe skolo ka mhlalosi tsa mabaka ho so a re ho na ro tan romela chelto re ke tle pitori a go se bele botata ndo romela chelto ka ya pitori so ke re ke fitla pitor na ke tseba a bereka ni le motho go ya ga la batho ke makala every day a bo a le chelete ene di chelete tsa ona di sa le ka so ka mo tshaka re na wena o bereka mphutwa mme re kwa mphutwa ma a mpo tshaka re le hore yena o bereka mabulomo e ya ka re wena o berekile jwa ka mthe phaksa tsebe so o ile nya ke la di tshomo wona ku o ile nya ke la di tshomo ga ne ke bona ba nyana ba ona re sebetse kae e ena ru sebetsa kae yena o o mpudjo o bere ka mablomo o mablomo e so na ka mtsep so o ile nyakela di chomi wona ko o ile ha nyakela di chomi wona ko ka kwa di chomi tshe ke dutse le bona ba bolela re tshi na ke tshonne ke nyoko ya spanning ka 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 thomo di putsi shore ho o ra le mthola le yena o dira soke o ile a bua le ka mutsi sha ka rena Uko mpitse mo be ke ne le batho ba so so ke kula ba re ba nya kwa ya spani so 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 ha ni lwe no dira dilo tsa mphuto na o ila mphetola botsa re ke dira dilo tsa mphuto e bile ke nya ka lwe no tlo o ke ke dutse 2 days or 3 days ke sae ka tla ka ba le pilwela re ke nya ka o ya a o ke le ka ya ka nete ba mpontsha hore re be re ka jwa wa mpontsha lo re go dira ga jwa ni dilo tsa hore o ke ke le ka ya wona kua e be ke ropa batho like ke ite o ka re ke re ke sha mile ba shimane ba re tsa male ba shimane ba shimane ba ba dula ka stoge e ba dula ka stoge ba nya ka tsela ya 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 go re dikolo di gonotsena ya ba le sehlare mo lo gore na le e kitle le motho re tsenela hona ke mo riemela mbona bona ba ba le mo patulang hona ba mpontsha le mo re ke tshabela hona e fi ba tshori motho wa hona so re le ra ya matseleng le banyana ba ba ngwe ra be re ka hona ka mogo so ke re le ke tshe ke ke dia tsona tshe la mathomo ke ile ka palela ka ka skotjisile la bedi ke ile ka skotjisile la bora re ka go ka thomo ke ra se ka bona ro ba tho ba dira ntwe so o bo se bi lo ke ra tru chelte a ka tru minetse nyana ka thomo di kwa bo se le na ka thomo go nnyo go dia until until re tlela ke hlalo hanyo dilo tshe be re di dia pitori re ile ra tla mo ha era re tshe e ro dia boye begas foto ka bona begas foto go le bana ba 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 bere ka mmeni go ro ke ra bona ba mmeni e so ke le ka ya ka dira wana ko until ba ntshwara ka 2017 ba ngwe ba last year ka 2018 ka march me lo re ke le ka fela ke le wana ka mmoke thank you so much uh, for telling us your story in tabi saying just to um I'll give you a sense of what tabi saying is saying if you don't understand is that she's of course a sentence to 10 years imprisonment and that uh, is a uh, for a robbery and um, she has no previous convictions but uh, was she says she was introduced to the life of crime uh, by her boyfriend she basically followed him to pretoria uh, after leaving school and uh, basically uh, she had uh, within the business that he was doing had lured men and uh, subsequently robbed them that gone into a dark uh, a, a place or a street uh, where uh, she would lure these men to that area and uh, together uh, with her boyfriend and others then uh, they would uh, commit uh, this um, uh, uh, crime and um, according to the documents uh, here that i have from the department as well should normally stop men and uh, lure them and take them to that area where uh, they could uh, be robbed but we'll certainly uh, continue this conversation with uh, these uh, six women who are serving a time here at uh, the Bulukwane Correctional Center and uh, we'll hear about the implications of um, what they say was the day that their lives uh, had changed and of course we'll speak to the department of uh, correctional services as well with regard uh, to what programs have been put in place uh, to help rehabilitate these women the women who sit uh, here next to us uh, today are women who 
have been sentenced to very, ser uh, very serious uh, crimes uh, here in uh, South Africa, including murder, drug trafficking, as you've heard, as well as fraud and robbery as well. Uh, let's go to you, Stephen, uh, for the next uh, few moments. And uh, when we come back, we'll speak uh, to the director of correctional programs. We'll talk to us a bit about the research that they do to shape policy for those programs in terms of rehabilitation, Stephen.